Uh, I think uh, the volume of data kind of supports, I think, the findings that we're seeing in that data set. You know, our data set's a little larger sample size at this point, and so I think we do kind of robustly confirm uh, the activity of, you know, PD-1, you know, targeting within MSI high colon cancer. And I think both data sets really show the dramatic level of activity. You know, we're seeing some of the highest kind of um, response stable disease rates um, that we've seen in kind of many different kind of solid tumors with immune checkpoint therapy. And so I really think the, the future is going to be actually Actually, this subset is going to really be, be defined as kind of an immune therapy subset and needs to be treated with immune therapy. And so uh, there's a lot of kind of ongoing efforts to kind of take these therapies, which general these two, you know, the pembrolizumab data and the kind of nivolumab, ivolumab data were primarily refractory population bases. Uh, and so I think going forward, we're going to see the, the move of moving these immune checkpoints in the earlier line of therapy. Uh, there's already kind of studies investigating that. And I think the, the question that's really open and of great interest is, you know, do they really just kind of replace chemotherapy in the MSI high population? Um, and I think there's some of the early data in this refractory base says that potentially could really be the case. Um, but how that works out or is there a combination approach that's best is, is what will, I think, play out in the future.